My name is Andrew Garcia. I'm a Spanish market artist. As you can see, we're uh, currently going through our 2018 uh, Spanish market. Uh, it's been a great weekend. I, uh, it's always a joy to meet my clients, and my, uh, artist friends. Uh, it's a big get together. And, uh, my medium, my uh, category is furniture. I do hand carved furniture. Uh, you might see some of my samples of my work here. I was lucky enough to get a first place uh, on uh, this particular piece, which is a uh, three door unit. All my surfaces are hand carved. Uh, I mill my own lumber. Uh, everything that I use is ponderosa pine, which is a local. Um, it's a local uh, wood up from northern New Mexico. I'm, uh, I'm from the Penasco area. I was born and raised there. I'm a retired school teacher. I used to teach math in the Penasco schools. Uh, I've been doing this type of uh, work for approximately 20 years. Uh, How much time do you spend on pieces? I work full time now on a daily basis on, on my pieces. A uh, sample would be about a three month project. Some of my pieces would take five, six months. But on average we measure it, we gauge it with months. People are always asking, how many hours did it take? And uh, I have to answer, you know, it's not hours, it's months, weeks. It's very time consuming, but it's also very enjoyable. I do it because I love it. It's a, it's a great pastime. I'm a retired school teacher, like I said. So this gives me something that I, that I can do and that I love to do. How did you get started? I, get, I got started a couple years before retirement uh, with a small workshop that was offered from the El Rito Vocational School up in uh, El Rito. And uh, it was a basic five, six day course on basic wood carving. And we just, both my wife and I, she does uh, uh, bultos and retablos, but we got our, our, our our first start was in uh, carving, and we just fell in love with it. We just kept going. Uh, you get your hands on those tools, and uh, you carve one motif, one pattern, and you just hardly wait to get to the to the next one. It's just a big experiment and a learning process as you go. So I've kind of taught self-taught from that point on. Are you passing this art form on to somebody else in your family? Yes, uh, I've, I've sponsored uh, nephews, grandsons at, at Spanish Market. In fact, my grandson, Dominic Garcia, is uh, showing in the youth uh, area in this market. And uh, he's getting into the woodworking. He's teaching the basics of carving now. He's good at, uh, at the construction. He's learned about the mortise and tenon joinery. And uh, from here on, we'll start working on carving. Is there anything you want to tell those that are trying to become artists, that are trying to maybe show their pieces at a market, at a Spanish market? I always say, if you love doing it, do your best on every single piece. Don't cut corners. Make every, build every piece as if we were going to be judged at a show. Because ultimately, your customers, whoever it's going to go to, it's going to be seen it on a daily basis, and you want it to be your best work. So, if you, if you love doing it, uh, do your best. Thank you very much. Do you have a card? I don't know. I started rambling after a while.